What is going on, people? Your friendly neighborhood saying is back. Once more, kind of, sort of ready to react, I guess you could say in a sense. So as y'all know, I am a big, big fan of Thanos in the MCU. I love how much more humanized he is in there. I love the performance that Josh Brolin gives off. Is that he's on that level as fucking Robert Downey Jr. is with Iron Man. I strongly doubt that anybody is going to one-up Josh Brolin as Thanos. But ever since seeing those, I I couldn't help but wonder, like, I want to know more about Thanos as a whole, like, from the originals, like, the actual Marvel Comics continuity. Not some MCU shit or anything like that, but from, like, the actual original Infinity Gauntlet storyline. Like, I wanted to know, like, Thanos' motivations, how much more different he acted in this, how much more powerful he was in this. And the differences are extreme to say the least holy shit like you think thanos is a savage in the mcu no this thanos is a fucking savage in comparison god damn it and i loved it's so good like i loved how the comic handled like you know him looking for the stones the comic does so many things right for me like how it portrays thanos as like yeah he's a little bit crazy he's a little bit unhinged from that to portraying like how much more power he had like he has so much more power in this compared to his mcu counterpart from that to his methodical quest to find the stones one by one from that to like how he takes care of some of these people is like the best like like he fucking finds an in-betweener and like he takes away his stone and just leaves him there to fucking get murdered by Lord Chaos and Master Order. From that to finding the Gardener and just like, the Gardener doesn't even fucking put up a fight. The Gardener just... I can't help but feel bad for the Gardener. Like, he eats it so hard and he doesn't even put up that much of... I don't even... If I remember correctly, he doesn't even put up that much of a fight at all. Like, it's just a one and done situation. And in comparison, because this is a big thing for me too... Because this is a big thing that they changed in the MCU as well. In this, in the originals, Thanos isn't doing this just for like to have everything perfectly balanced, to, like wipe out half of like the universe, to like make everything perfectly balanced and like in his point of view save the universe. In this, it's completely different where Thanos is just mad and he has this infatuation with Mistress Death. Like he wants to be her lover so desperately. And part of me is wondering, like, it, it, like is that like a tie into like him just being obsessed with death and wanting to bring it to everybody or does he genuinely love mistress death like as as a as a thing and i'm pretty sure i'll get more answers as we go on through the infinity saga but this story is really fucking good i had a lot of fun with it this being like the first marvel comic that i've read in a long time i had a lot of fucking fun with this yeah this is this is gonna be a full price for me absolutely gonna be a full price for me from the art to seeing the well written monologue coming from thanos during certain events to seeing his motivations to seeing how cunning and ruthless he can be and just seeing him like also look for the infinity gems one by one and even out oh, dudes that's another thing i'm gonna it's spoilers for a comic that's like fucking a couple decades old but one of the craziest parts at the end where he fucking plays grandmaster in like a game like vr simulator basically and he just tricks him the whole entire fucking time and he outsmarts the grandmaster and basically turns him into a vegetable that is fucking awesome i, lo I like i love it i feel like the mcu version of thanos like while he is intelligent and he's more cunning he's more of a brute as opposed to this Thanos who is more cunning and more intelligent, but he's also a brute as well, but he's more insaner than the MCU version of Thanos, clearly. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's way more unfringed. And I cannot fucking wait until we get to fucking Infinity Gauntlet. I can't wait so bad. I, I, I want to review and react to it so bad. I can't wait to see all the shenanigans. You guys might see me post up like little individual snippets as i go through the story like showing you guys my fucking full-on first reaction but as always if you like what i had to say don't forget to like your likes comment your comments sub your sub share your shares and i will see y'all on the next video and without further ado peace a chicken grease